it's actually a dream that I had. And when I had the dream, uh, I was greatly grieved in my spirit upon waking up and uh, began to weep and groan and travail uh, for this governor and the state of New York. I recently had a dream and I found myself along a worn path. All around me was a massive field filled with stalks of ripe corn ready to be harvested. I fell on my knees and put my face to the ground and began to weep and pray. Lord, give us the harvest from this land. Let not one perish from this place. I can see thousands upon thousands are waiting in the valley of decision. Lord, I have trusted in your mercy and my heart has rejoiced in your salvation. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them your light is shining. For you will break the yoke of his burden. Yes, this rod of their oppressor you will remove. A new government will you raise up in its place. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. The government will be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace there shall be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establish and uphold it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. Your zeal will accomplish this before our eyes. Bring forth the promise and change the laws of the land. For behold, children are a gift of the Lord. They are the fruit of the womb. It is a reward that you give. My hands dug deep into the rich soil as my tears fell like raindrops on the ground. Sounds that seemed to be more like groans came out of my spirit as I lay prostrate on the ground. Suddenly I came to hear a sound of the footsteps along the path. I looked up to see three men approaching me in suits. As they came closer, I recognized one of the men as Governor Andrew Como. And the other two men seemed to be secret service agents. With great anger, the governor began yelling at me and saying, If you continue to pray to your Jesus and preach the gospel here, I will personally see to it that you are charged with a hate crime in this place. We don't want your kind here anymore. From my knees, I pointed to this man and said, weeping, Sir, your life will constantly hang in the balance from this day forward for what you have done. You will live night and day in fear, unsure if you will survive. I pray that you turn to the Lord before it's too late. I call on heaven and earth to record this day against you, that God has set before you life and death, blessing and cursing therefore choose life that you and your seed may live sadly i see that many things will be taken from you by the darkness until you repent by the love of god i compel you to turn from your wickedness this day and give your life over to jesus christ for evil will slay the wicked and those who hate the righteous will be condemned your heart has become corrupt and open to destruction from demonic darkness. Once lust has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and when sin is accomplished, it brings forth death. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Again, I say to you, repent. And turn to the Lord before it's too late. With his arms crossed, he oppressed, uh, opposed every word I said. 
Then with defiance, he said, I will never turn from the path that I am on. When I awoke from the dream, I was greatly shaken. By uh, governor I... Cuomo has announced he is resigning uh, from the governorship. He took this near the end of his remarks, so it caught a lot of people off guard. Of course, um, President Biden had, had recommended after all of these allegations came to light from the attorney general's report that he should step down. Do we know, uh, you know, Edward, whether there were any updated conversation between the two? Yeah, at this point, we don't know if there's any conversation between the two, but there was certainly public pressure. You heard all the way up to even this weekend, the president stressing that, that uh, Cuomo should resign, sticking by those comments that he had said in the past. The White House press secretary also echoing that, that the president stands firm on what he believes, that if this report tr proved true, then therefore the, the governor should resign. The governor had no political friends basically at the end. You saw his closest advisors starting to resign there. So there was really no avenue. Avenue for him. Uh, the White House, you know, likely expected this. We are going to ask, uh, get a, an updated status. The president, we do expect, we will hear from him later this afternoon on this reconciliation bill. We'll probably get a comment related to this, too. All right. Uh, thank you very much. An for awakening that. implies the act of waking up from a slumber. And the word revival. means making alive again those who once lived but have fallen into a cold or dead state. Everywhere you look, you see the evidence of a deep slumber that has come upon his people. We believe the only hope to awaken the dead things is a great move of God and an outpouring of his Holy Spirit. The Bible says that the Spirit of God came in like a rushing mighty wind. We are calling believers from all over the nation, all over the world, to stand with us as we gather for a great revival in our nation and as we cry out to God, Awake America.